Welcome back to the time of your life. I'm your host, Ethel Rasmussen. Everyone seems to turn their attention to giving back to their community during the time period of November and December. Joining us today is Allison Vogren, manager at the Baltimore County Volunteer Center. Allison, welcome to the time of your life. Thanks. It's a pleasure to be back on the show today with you. To start, outline what Baltimore County Volunteer Center provides and some of its accomplishments of its first year. Yes, so we launched the Volunteer Center back in October 2023. So it's a virtual um, volunteer center and we are a clearinghouse to connect people in the community who wanna serve with agencies who need people to serve. So one of our primary features is the Get Connected Volunteer Portal and it does just that. And then in addition to the volunteer portal, we also collaborated with a couple of the different agencies for community-wide volunteer activities. So. This past April, we worked with Happy Helpers for the Homeless. Um, they provide resources for those in the need, actually th in need throughout the state. But um, we had a group of 25 volunteers of all ages come together to prepare food baskets um, that would be then delivered the next day to people in need. And then this past September, we worked with Yield Camp and the Baltimore County Recreation and Parks to do a park cleanup at the Benjamin Banneker Historical Park in Catonsville. And our youngest volunteer was six and the oldest was 85. And we had quite a range of activities. We were sanding and staining the park benches to picking up trash. Um, and the weather held out for us and it was a beautiful day. Um, so we look forward to doing more of these collaborations throughout the years. And then we also had a volunteer fair, our first one this past September. It was at the Towson uh, Bicota Senior Center. We had a great turnout, 22 agencies represented and around 80 people came out to meet with agencies, hear about their needs and sign up to get started with volunteering. Wow, the Volunteer Center is off to a great start. Why is volunteerism so critical to the community, especially during the holidays? Well, volunteerism in general, it strengthens our communities. It, we're filling, volunteers fill gaps, whether that be a lack of resources, understaffing, or just inaccessibility to resources for certain, for certain groups. I just think about it, I volunteer at a local animal shelter, and right now we are inundated with animals coming in. And what I do helps supplement the staff so that they can give the attention that they need to and the care to the animals. And I, I think about it without all the volunteers, I'm not sure that the staff could handle the load. I mean, I, they could, but they couldn't do it as effectively and efficiently. So in that case, volunteers are really essential. Um, and then around the holiday time, it's been reported that volunteerism increases as much as 50%. And I think it's just because people are in that holiday spirit, they wanna give back, and maybe they're even thinking forward to the new year and to resolutions as well. So maybe this is their, I wanna do this before the year ends and then a segue into the new year um, also volunteering. Can you give some examples of volunteer opportunities that are available in the community? Movable Feast is going to look for volunteers, looking for volunteers to help on Thanksgiving Day. So volunteers are helping with um, greeting the deliveries. So we have volunteers who are already assigned who are delivering meals to food insecure or and chronically ill individuals around the state. So they need volunteers to greet the deliverers and then to actually help load and get the uh, food out to the cars. Then we also have the B&O Railroad Museum, which is doing a live performance of the Polar Bear Express. So they have uh, between November and December volunteers helping with greeting, with um, helping people on and off the train, and there's various opportunities there. But then I encourage people also to look beyond the holidays and, and think about ongoing volunteer needs. Um, there Goes My Hero is an organization that works to help people with blood cancer. So they need volunteers to help with bone marrow registries, um, with special events, creating care packages and, and writing cards of encouragement. Catholic Charities has more than 80 programs around the state um, and they serve a range of audiences from those who are um, living in poverty to family and children to new Americans. And one of their groups that they serve is also adults with developmental disabilities. So uh, we work with Gallagher Services and they are located, they have a day center in Timonium where they're looking for volunteers to help with the daily programming and activities, but they also have nearly 50 group homes 
throughout the greater Baltimore region where they need people to go in and provide friendly visits. So there's an array of opportunities, whether you want something clerical, whether you want to work with kids, um, a certain population. And again, on our volunteer portal, the Get Connected portal, you can search and fine tune that down to specific areas of interest that you have. So how can people discover the volunteer needs that may be just in their neighborhood? Mm -hmm. So on our portal, we can you can search by zip code. So if you uh, go to the portal at baltimorecountymd.gov slash volunteers, you can go on and look and search by what's happening right around you. Um, but you can also call our office at 410-887-2715. And my colleague Chanel and I would be more than happy to help talk about what it is you're looking for and what kind of area and help direct you to different locations. Al Allison, let's go ahead and switch gears. Um, can you describe what RSVP is? Sure. So the Retired and Senior Volunteer Program, RSVP for short, um, is a federal grant program that the Baltimore County Department of Aging has been the sponsor of for probably 50 years at least, um, and it is sponsored for Baltimore County, but it is a nationwide program. And it's all about connecting volunteers 55 and over with opportunities to volunteer. And we have a network of about 30 different nonprofit government agencies that we, um, we partner with and we match the volunteers with. Um, and the idea is that we track the impacts that the volunteers are having and the hours that they're serving and we report that to our funder, AmeriCorps. Um, and they in turn show the impacts on a larger national scale. So um, this is a program, like I said, it's a grant program we reapply for every three years. and. Um, so it's a little bit more data driven, a little bit more we match volunteers, we sit down and actually meet with them and screen them a little bit more than we would with the volunteer portal. Let's say you've inspired someone into action. What are some of the recent RSVP needs in the community that older adults can become involved with? So we have right here in our Department of Aging, the, the home team program. So they need volunteers to go and visit with homebound isolated seniors to deliver food to them from local pantries, as well as right now they're restarting a program initiative to uh, take seniors to and from medical appointments or to the grocery store to wherever they need. So that escort program is relatively new. Uh, we also have Gilcrest Hospice Care, which um, usually serves more than 800 patients a day on their hospice program. Majority of them are living in their homes, so they need somebody to come out and visit with them or to offer respite for a caregiver. Uh, Irvine Nature Center, which is located in Owings Mills. If you're someone who likes kids, they have a, a nature preschool program for ages three to five. Um, and right now they're doing an outdoor exploration program, uh, chilly, uh, I think it's October through May. So it's even through the, the winter season, but they do outdoor exploration with the kids. So somebody who likes going on hikes and working with young kids, it would be ideal. And it's um, all about nature-based fun learning. Um, so we have, like I said, a number of agencies. There's 30 altogether. Our staff would be more than happy to uh, sit down and meet with somebody just to talk about the options. There's no obligation with having to sign up with anything, but we could help steer you in the right direction. Allison, thank you so much for sharing all of these wonderful opportunities of how we can get involved during the holidays with volunteerism. And thank you for letting us promote it. And I'm, I'm excited for the community to get involved. And I hope they'll come to our volunteer portal to check it out or call our office to learn more about RSVP. Outstanding. And that's today's show. Thank you for spending your time with us. Please remember you can call the Department of Aging's information line called Maryland Access Point of Baltimore County or MAP at 410-887-2594 with questions pertaining to older adults and persons with disabilities. This show may also be viewed anytime on the internet at www.baltimorecountymd.gov slash videos with open captioning. On behalf of the Baltimore County Department of Aging, we wish you a very happy holiday season with health and happiness going into the new year. That brings us to the conclusion of this year's edition of the Time of Your Life, a National Mature Media Award winner about the services and contemporary topics that keep you in the know. Until next time.